Welcome to Inside Sim Racing and another headset review. And this time we have the Razer, gotta love this name, yeah. Karcharias. Hey, Zed, that sounds good. What the heck is a Karcharia? I don't know. Is it, you know, one of those Mexican little, what is that? Sounds kind of Spanish. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, Chupacabra? I don't know. No, <laughs> Chupacabra's a bad thing. Right. Anyway, so this is a headset review. I'm Darren Gangy here with Jason Dunnington. Speaking of Jason Dennington, he's the one that actually did the majority of this review. We only got one headset, so. I Jason, stole him and took him home. Yeah, <laughs> Jason stole him, took him home. I did the last headset review, so figured give Jason a chance to do one. And uh, he's gonna tell us mostly what he thought of these. First of all, what are these compatible with? These are compatible with the Xbox 360. It's kind of dead, but you know, it's still out there and there's still a bunch of good games. We haven't tried it with this, obviously. They you provide know. all the connections for you to hook it up to the Xbox 360. Actually, if you figure it out, you can plug this into a PS3. I, I'm sure I can get this to work on my Xbox One. Uh, they even come with the audio port to where if you're running an HDMI on the Xbox 360 and you plug this in, uh, it gives you the RCA um, females. To, for that. Also gives you the 2.5 millimeter uh, microphone jack to where you plug it into the audio control box here that's yeah. in line and then that goes to your gamepad. So all that stuff's there and like Jason said we didn't try on the Xbox 360. We're mainly PC racers. Uh, then again I've been doing a lot of Xbox One stuff but Jason's yeah. been mainly just PC racing so that's pretty much what he tried it on. And speaking of which what titles did you try it with? I first started with um MXGP, I was still messing around with the, the little motocross game. Then I jumped on iRacing, Assetto Corsa, R Factor 2, Game Stock Car. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything in my arsenal of, of sim, just so I can get a good, you know, sound quality. Across the board? Across the board, right. Sounds good. Oh, also. Sounds good. Yeah, hey, and I also played with, you know, some music as well. You gotta, you know, gotta check that pump out. pump up the volume. Yep, pump out the jams. Right on. Uh, so now I'm gonna give you sound tech guys all the specs on this thing. Half of these words, I don't even know what they are or mean. Uh, the drivers, 40 millimeter, I guess I could educate myself, but the bottom line is, if they sound good and they feel good on my head, that's where, you know, that's what we're gonna tell you guys. Yeah, I'll remember those certain specs for later to make sure when I'm buying another headset that I'll look for that. Yeah, so the driver's 40 millimeter with neodymium magnets. Never heard neodymium before. Frequency response is 20 to 20,000 hertz. Imp impedance is 32 ohms. Sensitivity 102 plus four decibels at one kilohertz max. Input power 20 Milliwatts, megawatts, it says little m, big w. Milliwatts. Okay, and cable, three millimeter cable, it, which is almost 10 feet, 9.84 feet. Um, and approximate weight, 300 grams. Lightweight headset. Very. It, which I think is key when it comes to, to having a headset. You don't, you know, a lot of us do long distance races uh, and you know, you could have a headset on your, sitting on your nugget for couple hours sometimes. Oh yeah, and after you're done with, well, some headsets I've used before, my ears were killing me, or in between as I'm driving down the street, I adjust it because it's just a lot of pressure on your ear. So that's a key feature here. Uh, and they're wired, needless to say, we got the wires. 3.5 millimeter jack on both the microphone and the audio. Also comes with a USB port, which basically just powers it. Uh, and it's got like a rubber, uh, cover on the on the cabling. It's thick insulation all around. I, I like the quality of the wires. It's got an inline uh, control, audio control, which controls, it has a microphone mute switch, bass boost control, uh, which is basically a, a dial, so you can turn the bass up or down. A It's got the 2.5 millimeter Xbox Live microphone port, which we, we talked about. Uh, and then you've got your standard audio control, and then your incoming voice chat control, so you can turn up or down, I'm sure that's only with the Xbox 360. Uh, you know, I I haven't messed with it that much when I was in iRacing to see if I can crank up extra volume. I just left it at max and it was plenty loud enough to where I was hearing the guys quite well. Cool. So, uh, so also, cloth cups that, these come off, right? Yeah, yeah, washable, reusable, you know. Very comfortable. Lots of adjustability as far as for bigger or smaller heads. My head's a little bit on the bigger side and fully adjusted out was was still too big for me. So you could have a pretty 
a monster head. Yeah. Yeah. I only know one guy <laughs> that has a head that big. <laughs> yeah, I've known a few guys with big, with heads that big, but mine's probably on the large side, not extra large. I'd say this would go to extra extra large. Uh, yours is like a medium size head, and it fit yours well. Right. It fit mine, and I still had enough to put my track IR in here, which was really cool because it actually held the it straight. I've had others that my track IR will move, and with that, it's constant, and I don't have to readjust that at all. Cool. Uh, it's got a fully adjustable. Now, actually, I want to actually back to the cups. The cups don't turn like this. I mean, they're basically just adjustable up and down. Uh, so, which can matter or not. Oop, got one of the cups just came off here. Yeah. So they are removable. <laughs> totally. Actually, they come right off very easily. That's that's pretty cool. And just click and twist back in. Yeah. Nice. Um, so it's got a uh, adjustable microphone, which is bendable too. So you can bend it in if you want, or bend it out or turn it down or however you want. Uh, so that's pretty much it on the adjustability and comfort. Well, let's talk about the comfort. Well, comfort, you pretty much, after a while, I forgot these things were on. Um, they do have a really good like memory foam on top to just kind of cradle your head. And the, the sound, um, the way that's reproduced, it kind of makes it feel like the speakers are away from your head, if that makes any sense. I, you'd have to hear it for yourself. Um, but after a while racing, I literally forgot they were on. You know, I turned around and it was like, oh yeah, these are, I'm, I have headphones on, you know. Now, do they block out exterior sounds? They do. Really? I, you know, the, well, with the volume, you just need to, I, I didn't have it cranked. Okay, so know. if you turn the volume down, does it block out, out exterior no, sounds? No, it's not deadening. So you can turn the volume down and, and hear somebody, if they say, yell at you or whatnot, you can crank it down and hear them without having to move your headset off to your ears. Okay. So, so let's talk about the sound quality. Are they loud enough? Uh, Bounce off your ears loud enough. Yeah, I would. They're they're awesome, but even at the max volume, it's clear. You can crank that sucker, and it's a con. You know, very clear. It's not distorting. It, it's really good. Cool. Uh, let's see what else we need to talk about. Um, how, what about this? How did you like the adjustability and the distance uh, from the headset? Was that and did this? tangle on you. It doesn't look like these tangle. It doesn't, no. Um, I, I had multiple cords at one time with, the, yeah, and um, they were really tangle free. Um, and this little box is far enough away to where I personally like having it setting in my lap um, so I can adjust real quick if I need to. Uh, but it's far enough away to where you can, I threw it on my floor, on the floor next to my rig and it was down far enough to where it didn't have that weight that I was, you know, you would feel or right on your keyboard. And so you can just put it off to the side and forget about it. Cool. Uh, oh, 69 bucks. These, this headset goes for, so very affordable. Yeah. Uh, and available at Razor's website, razor.com. Is that the yeah. website address? So why don't we go with the pros and cons, uh, starting with the first pro. Plenty of distance on the cable. 10 feet is more than enough, uh, and they definitely provided that. Right. And um, second one, great sound quality. Great sound quality. Very comfortable and lightweight. Would be two more. Yeah, and oh, speaking of lightweight, you know, a lot of newer headsets, and I think Razer has some headsets that are wireless. They do. So they have a, a wide range of headsets. You know, I'd honestly, especially for sim racing, prefer a wired set because they're lighter weight. And, you know, we do do longer races. Uh, and, you know, having a headset on your, you know, sitting in, on your ears and in your head for hours at a time, it can wear on you if there's, if there's some extra weight. So not having them be wireless, you know, there's no uh, receiver in here, there's no batteries to, to keep them powered up, so... Or possibility in the middle of your long race, the batteries go dead and then you're flying blind, basically. Yeah, exactly, yeah. or fl flying deaf. Flying, yeah. <laughs> uh, Next Pro, they are priced under 100 bucks, yeah. so at 69 bucks, very affordable, and sounds like it's good bang for the buck based on... Awesome bang for the buck, I would say. And the last few pros, uh, washable cups, right. so get lots of use out of them. And uh, last but not least, the cool little, you know, extra effect that they add, which it's a nice little, you know, personal touch, I suppose. Sure. All right. Well, that, now let's take it to the cons. Um, and actually, I just kind of said this was one of the pros, but I guess this could be a con depending on what you're going for. It's not wireless. Right. Uh, but again, I would prefer it to be wired. Yeah. Personally. And this model's not wireless. So they have a whole slew of them range from what, 49 bucks to, to almost 300. You can find anything you want in, in their, their lineup for sure. Cool. Any other cons? Um, 
gosh, no, I, I really can't think of any. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this review, except for we're going to get into final thoughts and give it a score. So tell us some final thoughts. What do you think? Final thoughts. After running these things for a few weeks, um, I'm really quite sold. These uh, Razer, they did a good job. Uh, and they're built for gamers. So now are you going to keep using them? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. As long as you let me have them over there. <laughs> they're, they're all yours, dude. So now there was an application that you could get that was like a TeamSpeak? Yeah. They also have some other free downloads. One of them being a Razer comms, which is like TeamSpeak, and you, uh, to jump on and, and So somebody talk else would have to have Razer comms for Yeah. Them. Like TeamSpeak, you'd have to, you know. Okay. Cool. And uh, what would you score these out of five? You know, I'm really hard pressed to, I don't like giving fives away because that's for you know, where it makes the bells and sounds all around, you know. But I'm giving them a five. I really am. They, they for the price. Well, we didn't really have any cons for it either. And I, and I would, yeah. just based on, you know, I, I used them briefly. Um, putting them on my head, again, I like a lightweight set. I like the comfort both here at the, at the, the pad up top and with the, the ear cups comes with a bunch of different uh, adapters to where you could pretty much run it on any type of system. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sure you can get a PS3 to work on it too. Uh, I'm you know, sure I can because it, you know, it comes with this pass-through RCA cable that hooks right into a mini jack. So, right. um, yeah, and for only 69 bucks, I'd say it's a good it's bang for your buck. For sure. So that's going to wrap this up. Check out our website, isrtv.com. Got daily blogs going on there about everything related to the sim racing industry. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. For Jason Dunnington, actually, Jason Dunnington was the one that reviewed these. And for Darren Ganji. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you've enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time. Have a great one.